Hi, we're back with another review and today's DIY is McCall's 7539 View C. Okay, I did this in a size 12 all around based on my measurements and the finished pattern envelope. I should have done a 14 for my bottom and a 12 for my top and you know kind of graded them together um, but I chose a 12 based on the finished pattern measurements at the bust line and the hip line I wanted this jumper to fit me a little snugger so um, I chose that let me show you what it looks like and I'm going to show you pictures on my blog so here's the finished product the review today is of this jumper and I will tell you I really like it it fits really well the only thing that I did to this jumper was add an inch to the bodice piece um, I'll talk to you more about the review of the different parts of it in just a moment but um... now the fabric I'm not really sure of what this fabric is exactly I feel like it's a cross between uh, a twill and I really don't know maybe a target I'm not sure um, it's medium weight it's not really heavy and it is has a somewhat of a sateen finish to it um, I got this at G Street I love this fabric it's it's really nice don't look at my nails because I have to do my nails but um it turned out really cute I really liked it so you will see the reviews the full review and the picture on my blog all right so let's take a look at some of the notes for view D I know first off the very first thing that I did looking at the pattern pieces and also in the rise since I was going down in the size I um was cautious about the rise of this fabric the mid the midriff the uh, bodice section of this piece looks short so based on that um, I increased the length of the bodice by I think it was an inch or an inch and a half everything else went together good um, I would say after making this that it's probably better to do this with a fabric that has a little bit of stretch in it um, this doesn't have any stretch and it still fits me really good I mean I can move around in it or whatever but you want to make sure that you um, probably would need to uh, use a fabric that has a little bit of stretch and I will say that it took a lot for me to do this video because you can see every vein in my legs <laughs> you can see every flaw and vein in my legs it has been a cold winter and I did not get any sun so I'm so happy that the sun is out because I need some um, so you might want to take a look at that when you are cutting it put it up against your body and you know um, take some measurements as well I kind of know now um, pieces that need to be altered for me when I look at them and then also based on the finished measurement of the pattern um, sorry my sleeve doesn't want to stay in okay um, yeah, so that was the first thing I did was I increased the bodice by one inch, <clears throat> excuse me, front and back. Um, I was going to do my usual adjustment of widening the shoulders. I'm broad shoulders. I have a wide upper back area. Um, so what will happen if I don't increase the um, shoulder width? Is that a lot of times um, the sleeves will be a little too short on me and I don't have really long arms so it's it pulls up because of my shoulders it compensates um, but looking at this pattern again I've kind of gotten really good at that looking at this pattern I felt that with the give in the bust area and then also also the length of the sleeves I felt that I would be okay but I felt like I was right on the edge and it ended up being the case like the pattern turned out really good but to make it perfect for me I should have either increased slightly the width of the shoulder and the back I'm sorry 
or um, the upper back or if I would have made it in a fabric that had some stretch and I think the pattern gives that as an option stretch fabric um, so like another stretch woven it would have fit literally perfectly it was a little snug across the chest, uh, upper back slightly though it wouldn't stop me from wearing it but it was slightly a little snug um, so that's just some information that I can give you about that this fabric requirements everything we're fine on this <clears throat> okay so let me look at the second page because again I make notes on my two. so I put um, at step 18 for the pants when constructing the shorts I wrote that the notches are off a little so I'm thinking it was the inner seam could be the side seam but I think it was the inner seam because I have it written next to that um, the notches are off so that means one notch is a little higher than the other not a big deal just look out for it then at the sleeve 41 the ead stitch I um, you're instructed to E stitch between the small circles that did not work for me and my fabric I took it to the notches because if you E stitch just to the small circles it makes it much more difficult to actually smooth and easily um, insert the sleeve so that's nice and smooth oh, smooth okay so make sure that you for me this is my advice take it to the notches try that and see if it works uh, for you. For me, it made inserting the sleeve much easier and smoother. Um, the last thing I put was um, at 43. Um, I do things a little bit different, I guess, because it says to turn up the hem. This is when you're um, doing finishing. Um, on the sleeve, it says turn up the hem. And I think you do the same thing for the bottoms of the shorts, if I remember correctly. Turn up the hem at the lower edge of the sleeve base close to the fold finish the raw edge i don't know how you finish the raw edge after you've basted it but for me i would uh, mark the hem so where i'm going to turn it up at then i would finish the raw edge then i would you know fold it up iron it um, and blind hem stitch it in place at that point so if you're a newer sewer and you see finish the raw edge after you've basted it you're going to be confused so just kind of keep that in mind i just think it's written out of order i don't know maybe that's just me um i have a really cute pair of crop jeans i'm going to be um, reviewing next they're so cute and they fit me perfectly um, i really like them and a cute little very simple summer top I'll be so glad when it gets warmer out because then I can actually go outside and maybe even take some video of me wearing outfits. It's still kind of chilly and the weather is really iffy where I'm from, so it's been kind of chilly. But I plan on taking some pics and some videos outside soon. Um, but yeah, I have um, some jeans, some really cute crop jeans that I've done in a top, but I'm gonna share that with you soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and I just made them make this amazing smoothie, just FYI, um, super packed with nutrients. I purchased a dragon fruit not long ago. When I make, when I purchase fruit, I immediately wash all my fruits and vegetables, and then I put them into the glass containers I'm gonna store them in, or I will um, divide them out into snack bags so that I can grab them quickly when I want something to eat. If I want something sweet, I have some, you know, cut strawberries in a bag or um, grapes or whatever. So um, I purchased some dragon fruit, cut it up, put some of it in the freezer in little bags. So I just made this smoothie, my first time making it with dragon fruit. It had dragon fruit, organic red cherries, and organic banana. It was with coconut water. It was so good. So you might want to try that. Um, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. God bless you.